This is the sound of rutting season for the Roosevelt elk. You can hear the bugling, this kind of high caning call that sounds very eerie. If you didn't know what it was, you would not put it to the animal that it comes from. As summer days dwindle and fall colors begin to emerge, these otherworldly sounds fill the air in the foothills of Mount Rainier at the Northwest Trek Wildlife Park, about an hour from Seattle. Roosevelt elk are the largest of the four surviving subspecies in North America. As they enter their annual mating season, bull elk make these elaborate sounds to show their dominance over other members of the herd and secure mates. I always kind of describe it as, a, as kind of a keening wail, but there is this hoarse undertone quality, and there's different calls they do. There's the bugles, but there's these kind of uh, barks and yelps, there's fun names for them. So sometimes they have these coarse or kind of rougher low calls, sometimes they're high chirps. The large elk can be found sparring with other members of the herd, vying for female partners. The goal for the males during the breeding season is to be the only boy with all the females and to keep all the other males away from the girls. Uh, and then the younger boys are hoping to sneak in and maybe get a girlfriend that year. But typically it's just going to be our oldest boys. And they're going to be the ones who are really competing, uh, bugling. Even the younger male elk take part in the rituals locking antlers in imitation of the behaviors that will make them successful in future seasons. So for most of the year, they're all friends. They form what's called a bachelor herd, which are all the adult males when it's not the breeding season, go and hang out together. Now that changes at the end of the summer. Those hormones start changing. That's when the elk shed their velvet off their antler, along with the other antlered animals, that velvet falls off. They're meant to lock in and wrestle around. And then you'll start to see them wallow in the mud, darken their bodies like a spray tan for humans. Uh, you'll see them scent mark, they'll flick urine on themselves to make them smell irresistible to the ladies. So there's a lot of very unique behaviors, but you start to see that happen kind of the end of summer, the early fall, and then there's a few weeks of the year when you really see them start to lock antlers and to bugle and really see a lot of those rut-related behaviors. King says that elk's rutting season can be witnessed in various parts of North America during early autumn, but it's dependent upon climate and herd subspecies.